Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Vama and today we are learning the graph traversal. Graph traversal is the process of visiting and exploring the graph for processing. Here a graph is given in which we are having black color nodes which contain some numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. These are the vertices. These vertices are connected with green color lines and these are the edges. In the definition of graph traversal, there are two things. First is the visiting the vertex. That means we are going on any vertex. Let us suppose on one. So this is called visiting the vertex. Now afterward, second thing is exploring the vertex. So here on vertex 1, we are finding its neighbors just like 2 and 3, these are the neighbors of vertex 1. So this is called exploring the vertex. So visiting a vertex and exploring that means finding its neighbor is called the graph traversal. There are two methods for graph traversal. First is the breadth first search which is also called BFS and second method is depth first search which is also called DFS. Now we are understanding these two graph traversal methods one by one. First of all we are understanding the BFS which is breadth first search. Breadth first search use the Q data structure and Q is the FIFO that means first in, first out, which come first will be processed first. Now we are traversing this graph using the BFS. So from any of the vertex we can start using the traversal. But let us suppose that we are assuming this one is the start vertex. So we are taking the vertex 1 and putting it into the Q. From the queue, we are going to process the vertex one by one on first in first out basis. So here we are taking first vertex which is one and every time we are taking some value out from the queue, first of all we are going to visit that then afterward explore that. So here we are going to visit the one. Here we have marked the vertex one is visited and second thing is exploring. So finding the neighbors of vertex one and these are two and three. So we are putting the values of neighbors two and three into the queue. Now from the queue we are taking another value out which is two and performing, visiting and exploring. So first of all we are on to the vertex 2 and we are marking it as visited. Secondly we are going to explore the vertex 2 that means finding its neighbors. So the neighbor is 4. So we are putting that neighbor into the Q. From the Q we are taking next value out and that is 3. So that means we are on to the vertex 3 and we are performing now visiting and exploring. So firstly we are marking that vertex 3 is visited and now we are exploring the vertex 3 that means finding its neighbors. And the neighbors are 4 and 7. But 4 is already taken. So here is 7. And we are putting that 7 into the queue. Now we are taking out the next vertex which is 4 from the queue. So we are on to the vertex 4. And we are going to perform visiting and exploring. So firstly we have marked vertex 4 as visited. Secondly we are going to explore the vertex 4 
that means finding its neighbors and neighbors are vertex 5 and 6. We are putting the vertex 5 and vertex 6 into the queue. We are taking out the next vertex from the queue that is 7. So we are on to the 7. Firstly we are marking the 7 as visited. And secondly, we are going to explore the 7. That means finding its neighbors. But there is no further neighbor of 7. Now we are taking out the next vertex from the queue which is 5. So we are on to the vertex 5. Firstly, we are marking the vertex 5 as visited. And secondly, we are going to Explore the vertex 5 that means finding its neighbors but there is no further neighbor available. We are taking out the next vertex from the queue that is 6. That means we are on to the vertex 6. Firstly we are marking the vertex 6 as visited. And secondly we are going to explore the vertex 6 that means finding the neighbors but there is no further neighbor available. So here all the vertices of graph are traversed and the breadth first search traversal is 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 5 and 6. Here we can see that the breadth first search go level by level. That means starting from the vertex 1 then going to the next level that is vertex 2, 3 and going to the next level which is 4 and 7 then again going to the next level which is 5 and 6. So it is going level by level. That's why breadth first search is also called level order traversal. So that is the first type of graph traversal that is breadth first search or BFS. Now we are learning the next graph traversal technique that is the depth first search or DFS. The depth first search use stack data structure and stack is LIFO that means last in first out. Here in graph the black color numbers are the vertices and the lines connecting to the vertices mentioned in green color are the edges. We can apply the depth first search from any of the vertex but let us assume that vertex 1 is the start vertex. In depth first search first of all we have to visit the vertex then while exploring that vertex means going to the neighbor we have to put that vertex into the stack. So we are on to the vertex 1. So firstly, we have marked the vertex 1 as the visited. In depth first search, we has to go till the complete depth. Then we has to backtrack. Now we are exploring the vertex 1. We can go to the its neighbor which is 2 or 3. So we has to pick any of 1. So vertex 1 is having its neighbor and we are going to explore the vertex 1. So we are here putting the vertex 1 into the stack and going to the vertex 2. Again we have to first visit the vertex 2. So we have marked the vertex 2 as visited. And then exploring its neighbors we can see that vertex 2 is having vertex 4 as the neighbor. So exploring is possible. So here we are first going to put the vertex 2 into the stack and then we are exploring vertex 4. So we are on to the vertex 4. Firstly we has to mark the vertex 4 as visited. And then we has to explore the vertex 4 and we can see that it is having the neighbor which is 5. So before going to 5 we has to store this 4 into the stack. Now we are on the vertex 5. 
So firstly, we has to visit the vertex. So here we have marked the 5 as visited. But while exploring the vertex 5, we can see that there is no neighbor available. So we has to backtrack means going back. Here we have observed that we have started from the vertex 1, then going to the 2, then 4, and then 5. That means we have gone to the complete depth. Now, further depth is not possible, so we are going back. So once we are at the complete depth and we don't have the further solution, then who will guide us for going back or the backtracking that is the stack? So from the stack, the top element is our next element where we have to go. So we are taking out the 4. That means we have to go to the vertex 4. So from 5, now we are going to backtrack to the vertex 4. Now we are on the vertex 4. So first of all, we have to visit the vertex. But we can see that 4 is already visited. So this part we will skip and now we are going to explore. So for the explore we will check out the neighbor and we can see that we have achieved the neighbor that is 6. So before going to vertex 6 we are going to store the vertex that is 4 inside the stack. And now we are going to its neighbor that is 6. So firstly, we are going to visit the vertex 6. So we have marked it, visited. And afterward, we are going to explore the 6. But we can see that there is no further neighbor available. Or here we can see that we are again on to the last vertex till the depth. There is no further solution possible. And again, we have to backtrack. But where we will go? So stack will tell us. So here we will pick the element which is on the top and that is 4. That means we has to go back on the vertex 4. So from here vertex 6 we are backtracking and we are going to the vertex 4. Again we are on the vertex 4. So here first thing visit but it is already visited. Second thing is explore. So we are exploring its neighbor and we can see that successfully we are having one neighbor that is 3. So before going to the vertex 3, we are going to store the value that is 4. So this vertex 4 we are putting onto the stack before moving further. Now we are on the vertex 3. So firstly, we have to mark this vertex as visited. So we have taken 3 into the visited. And second thing is explore. That means finding the neighbor. So here we have successfully achieved one neighbor that is 7. So before going on 7, we are going to store the vertex into stack. So here we are putting vertex 3 on the top of the stack. And we can proceed further. Now we are on to the vertex 7. So first thing is to visit. So here we have marked the vertex 7 as visited. And second thing is explore. Explore means finding the neighbor. But we can see that the vertex 7 is not having further neighbor. That means again we have gone to the depth of this vertex. So here we have traversed till the 7 and it is at the depth means no further neighbor and the solution available. That means again we have to backtrack. So stack is going to help us to backtrack. So here we are popping the top value which is 3. That means we have to go back to the 3. So here from the depth means from 7 vertex, we are going back to the vertex 3. Now we are on the vertex 3, which is already visited and there is no further neighbor available. So that means we have to again backtrack. So from the stack, we are 
popping out the next vertex which is 4. So here we have to go to the vertex 4. So from vertex 3 we are backtracking to the vertex 4. We are on to the vertex 4 that is already visited and there is no further neighbor available. So again we have to backtrack. So from the stack we are popping the next vertex that is 2. So from vertex 4 we are backtracking to the vertex 2. Vertex 2 is already visited and there is no further neighbor available. That means again backtracking. So stack will help. Top element from the stack which is 1 that will be taken out. So from 2 we are going to backtrack till 1. So from vertex 2 we are going back to the vertex 1. Vertex 1 is already visited and there is no further neighbor available. And we can see that this is the starting vertex and also the stack is empty. That means no further backtracking possible and we have traversed all the vertices. So here we are having the sequence of depth first search of this graph. So we have traversed this graph using the depth first search. Now we are understanding the difference between breadth first search and the depth first search. The breadth first search go level by level. So it complete the first level then second and so on. But the depth first search go till the last level and then afterward backtrack. In breadth first search Backtracking is not there, but in depth first search, backtracking is available. In breadth first search, we use the queue data structure, and in depth first search, we use the stack data structure. The breadth first search work on FIFO, that means first in, first out. The element which comes first is processed first, and depth first search work on LIFO that means last in first out. The element which come on the last is processed first. So there is a difference between breadth first search and depth first search. So here we have learned the graph traversal methods which are BFS and DFS. So that's all for today. Thank you.